Hey, yo, this is Garrick Dixon from Funny Barbers. And when I want to hear some more funny, I tune into the Dope Dealers podcast. They got all the jokes. Ha ha! Uh, we're all as crazy as hell right now, right? I just want to have a good time. How about you? Red Man and Chico in the building. We're going to show you how we have a good time in the party. Let's get them. Can you feel the sun, Crowd. Oh yeah, it's a feeling that you get when your DJ pumps up the sound. Yeah, yeah. See ladies on the floor, turn it up, show your skills tonight. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's the world's most dangerous podcast, Dope Dealer Podcast. What's happening? What's up? It's your girl at Wanda on the Dope Dealer <laughs> Podcast. What's good? Dope Toby Dealers. Hicks. What's good, homie? Hey, man, listen, we have an incredible, credible show. We got one of our, one of our, I'm, I'm going to introduce her right, man. We got one of our good friends. But be, before we get into that, let's shout out uh, the homie Chico Benjamin. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, a nice that's track. Him and Red Man, we that's the listen. That track's so hot, we played it three times so far in the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are getting more requests. For yeah, it. man. We, we told him to grab his uh, grab his album. Yeah, we have to. I don't think the album is out. He said when the album is about to drop, he's gonna come in and be a guest. Oh, okay. but I think that's the first single, so he just wanted to, uh, um, um, you know, get, send. You just want to get that song out there. Him and Red Man. That's that's how they got a video for it, man. What's happening, man? Episode twenty six, man. What's, yeah, what's happening? Hey, we here. We on working our way to the next. Uh, yes, up to fifty. Yeah, man. God is good, man. Yeah. All the time, man. So listen, man. I will. I just want to do the rundown of the show before we bring our special guest because we have one of our good friends in the house. Man. Yeah, yeah. We got to. Yes, one of our. Yeah, one of our. Yeah, one of the. Thank good, everybody for last weekend and all that. Yeah, all yeah, that man. Um. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Chico Benjamin on that joint right there, man. So, listen, man, we got a, a great show for you guys tonight uh, on this episode, man. We got the Dope of the Week. Uh, we're going to do the Dope 7. We also have the Dope Question of the Week. We haven't did a Dope Question of the Week in a while. We got a good Dope Question of the mm-hmm. Week, man. And also later on, man, we're going to do a tribute. Uh, uh, last week we lost one of our members of our comedy family, so we're going to do a tribute to uh, later on. We're going to talk all about that, man. But, uh, you know, let's get, let's get down for the crown. Let's bring in our special special guest um she she is a comedy legend man i I, listen yeah comedy legend i I, um if you really look at the think about some of the top female comics in the game uh her name is up there you agree oh yeah 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 yeah. i was waiting on you to finish her name is up there Um, i know uh, have you seen her? Listen, man, uh, uh, you've seen her on everything. I mean, we'll be up here. We'll take the whole hour to give her credits, but we'll do BT Comic View, right. Deaf Comedy Jam. Then you did the all-female Deaf Comedy yeah. Jam. Uh, comedy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, listen. She she does the Clean Comedy Explosion, one of the hottest shows in Los Angeles. Yes. Once a month, yes. and you have done that, and I've done it. I actually am going to do it the next show. We're going to talk all about that. But without no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, uh, the Dope Dealer Podcast presents... Edwanda White. Yeah. What's up, Edwanda? Hey, how, how you, you doing? doing? Yeah, I feel like I'm at home sitting with my brother. <laughs> yes, yes, What's yes. Our good, sister, man. our good we sister. We're glad you made it Always. in. I, I always tell Toby, uh, I told Edwanda, I'll be telling Toby, we don't have enough female guests on here. Then. You know, we don't have enough female Ooh. guests on here. So that's one thing we're trying to at least, you know, make sure we, we do a little better job of getting, you know. Getting... And seeing we, we have, we've only had a few, but we wanted to get a respectable one on first because we got some strippers and hoes <laughs> coming up later. <laughs> and some other Ain't episodes. Yeah, we had to get a respectable one so that's they know we're on the right. So when we bring these uh, strippers and hoes in, everything coincides and we just don't look ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't judge nobody. That's the next one. You do move. you. Yeah. And you know when we say it's called the Dope Dealer Podcast, but you know we we mean in dope comedy, dope content. You know we're not actually talking about that. Well, I just, wasn't sure. Okay, <laughs> I just well, we always yeah. like to yeah, let yeah. people know yeah. that is because when I tell they people it's the dope. Now? <laughs> they yeah. They slinging these. Yeah. Oh yeah, slinging these dope jokes, dope yeah. guests. Yeah. You know, dope no, topics. Seriously, I, I knew. I yeah, okay. I'm just because some people don't. Up. They because I ask people, come on, you know, dope. I don't know. They act like the yeah. feds gonna come yeah. if they punch it in their phone. I gotta talk to my. I gotta talk to my agent. I don't know if that's good for my image to be on the dope dealer podcast. I thought that I would have been like, no, I can't. 
I can't be hanging out with the dope dealers. How you been? You been good? You really working, good. Working, working, this working. summer Family was good. amazing. Yeah. I've just been touring all over, and uh, the fans are just giving up mad love in every state yeah. and just all over. You know what I mean? That's just doing. It's, it's, it's always great to just. You went out the country recently, didn't you? Yeah, I went to the Dominican yeah, for the first time. Oh, and Dominican Republic. Oh my gosh. I ain't was, never been there either. I've been wanting to go. Turned, man. Yes. Dominican Republic. Wow. How, how, was, how was that? Oh, it was dope. Like, they were giving us mad love. And you did comedy over there? Or you just, yeah, oh, we you did, did a show oh, at wow. a resort and everything. And it was just all inclusive. So we were just turned every night, and the shows mm-hmm. went well. And, and it was good. People how from many all shows over the world. Do over there? Just one. Oh, wow. Just one, and we had a couple of days off, so we got to see everything. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, that's cool. I've never been to the Dominican yeah. Republic yet, man. I got to go. You need to go. Yeah, yes. that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm hearing. Nice. yeah, one of my homeboys told me, he said, man, you got to go to the man. Dominican Republic. He told me, you got to go before, you know, while your shit is still functioning and everything properly. That's right. I said, man, he's like, <laughs> make sure you, he said, you make sure you go, bro. You've been all these other countries. Go there. I said, okay, so I got to get there. You look like them, too. They'll try to keep you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like, to stay, <laughs> like you ain't a comedian. You ain't no. You ain't <laughs> no American. No papers. <laughs> yeah, you ain't no American. So let's. And so we. No. Was, you know, we, we, obviously we all comics. So in, you know, this dope dealer podcast is based in comedy. Like a, that's a big thing. So let's talk about the game. Let's talk about your career and stuff like that. Uh, okay. You're from L.A. originally? Is that, yeah, okay, everybody okay. else is from somewhere else. Yeah. I'm, I'm from you're, Linwood. I yeah. represent the L, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So y'all don't know what that is, but uh, most people don't know where Linwood is, but it's right next to Compton. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know I, I used to date a girl in Linwood. I yeah, mean, you uh-huh. cough and you're in Compton, so a lot of Compton people claim me too, but I'm from Compton and Linwood. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Now, what... Um, what, did, what year did you start out? What, what, what you know what? Time? A lot of people try to figure it out or whatever. But um, I started right after uh, Robin Harris passed away. Oh, so you, okay. So you was around. So I was, okay. yeah. I came did you do after the comedy that act wave. Theater? You was, I did okay. the comedy act theater right after Robin passed okay. and everything like that. So what was the scene like? What era. was the L.A. Yeah. scene like? Man, like, I loved it. Like I say, I, I grew up watching everybody and I admired uh, Robin. Right. But I wasn't a comedian then. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? I used to uh, watch him and be like, yeah. oh, I could do that. I could yeah. Do that, and how I became a comedian is because I was watching this girl named Stacy McLean. Y'all know, Stacey? I remember yeah. Stacy McLean. Yeah, Stacy, right? I, remember. I had remember. never seen any girl that looked like me. Every other girl looked like something else. So I'm like, I can't relate. I saw this black girl from Chicago get up there just talking about getting her hair pressed and regular stuff. I was like, this is what I want to do. I can do this. <laughs> so how long did it take for you to get the courage enough to to go out there? Like how? I didn't choose it. I didn't choose comedy. Comedy kind of chose me. Once mm. I saw that I could do it, I started going to comedy club, watching everybody. And then somebody invited me to uh, MC something for them. And I was just talking about people and talking about bridesmaids dresses and just clowning, and just being sarcastic. And people were cracking up laughing. So like, when oh, they God. asked you, did they think that you had done show? Because I lied my first time. A man, the man I uh, first show I did, he thought I had been doing comedy for a while. Oh, we've all no, done No, this is a relative. Their MC canceled on them, oh, and they just oh. needed somebody to, you know, for the little and they reception. Like, oh, shit, could do and they it. was like, she could do it. She got good personality. You know, she don't have to be funny. They weren't even thinking of a comedian. Mm-hmm. But to just pass the, the time, we just bagged yeah. on people, talking about people, what they had, and talked about the wedding and stuff. And people were like, oh my gosh, she's so funny. Mm-hmm. Just so happens one of my cousins was dating a guy who owned like a club or had a little spot. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he was there. Wow. And he came up to me and gave his car. I didn't know it was real. He was mm-hmm. like. Are you a comedian? You're so funny. I mm-hmm. was like, no, but I was already thinking about doing it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wow, this is cool. And I said, uh, well, no, but you know, he was like, you should come to my club. And I called my cousin. I was like, is this dude real or what? Mm-hmm. Do you know it was Carlos and Charlie's? Do you remember Carlos and Charlie's back in the day down the street from the comedy store? Mm, it's I don't not re- there I think, anymore. Okay. That but might he have been before I got out or wow. something. And he booked me for the Comedy Crunch competition for. Colt 45 or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think Mark Curry was the host. Damn, of that. Colt 45. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was Colt 45. You win a whole uh-huh. pack. I don't even drink any yeah, drink. Yeah. But they, uh, that's what I won. $50 and a whole wow. thing, a case of Colt 45. I was giving it to all the people in the yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. They were like, what? <laughs> Turn it right? Yep. And, and that's around the time. Did you catch the bug? Did you catch the bug at that I point? I caught or? the bug was, right then because it was professional comedians in there, but it was a competition yeah. where you just do five minutes or whatever. Mm-hmm. And all I did was talk about people the same way, people in the audience, what people right. had on. I didn't have any jokes or yeah, anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's where I started. Wow. What um 
You did comic view. What season did you do comic? You did a bunch of seasons. Okay, I'm sure, yeah. I was the first female ever to be on comic view. Wow, I did the pilot episode. Wow, that became the first one. That was DL Healy. Right? Even, yep, DL was DL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and DL had the same manager at the time. Okay, and he threw me in in the package like, well, if DL is hosting, throw my girl in there. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know who I was, but they were like, okay, fine. How bad could she be? Right. Mm -hmm. And then I just blew up from there. Yeah. People started booking me like, oh, we like her. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Joe's quoting mm -hmm. and stuff. Yep. And at that time, were you just doing clean comedy at that time? No, I was not always clean. I used to open up for Bernie Mac, and I used to do on. If you find my Dev Jam, which I hope well, yeah, you yeah, yeah, I remember. I, had I mean, some I, stuff, yeah, you know I remember that. I was just wondering at that time where you going when you first started, were you clean? Uh, uh, I didn't start okay. off clean. No, yeah. no, no. When did uh, you make the transition over? When did you? Um, actually, like I don't like when people like kind of label me and say, "Oh, clean this and that," because I still do clubs and everything. Right, right, right. I right. just don't do the content I used to do. Mm. Right. Instead of saying the D word, I might say the thing or what you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing or real adult material, but not the vulgarity. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Because once I changed my brand, then I became more mainstream and then I can do comedy anywhere. Yeah. For kids, for whatever, just uh the marketing is just better for me. Right, mm -hmm. right. And that you know, I want my legacy to be about that. When kids quote my jokes, I don't want to be cursing right, and right, all that kind of stuff. Right. That's just me. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? But yeah. I like the dirty comedy. I watch, you know, Richard <laughs> Pryor and all of them yeah. that day funnier than ever. Right. Let's say let's you get into that. Because I know the uh, uh CNN got this show called The History of Comedy. Actually next week's episode they're talking about clean comedy and and dirty comedy and just the the mixture of it um i'm you know my history of it i like I, i'm i don't know if you can call me a dirty comedian i can do whatever i can do i can do you're not really dirty yeah i'm not really dirty uh, dirty yeah but you're adult you know yeah what yeah I, I do a, yeah you know I'm, i do adult comp like you yeah adult comedy but I, I can do clean also and and i to me is you have to be versatile in this game yeah you really yeah do, See, we can you never do know what we all can you do get. About. yeah that we, corporate yeah. game yeah. Is, is hey is what's up so you better get yeah. that clean yeah. arsenal you want to get that money yeah you're right yeah you yeah. have to um, it's just, you got to do all different style. You know, you you have to like we was talking last week. You, you, you just can't if you're African American. You got to be in front of different. Yeah, you, can, you just can't only do black rooms. You got to do the Latino rooms. You got to know how to do white rooms. You got to know how to do young cr college crowds. You got to know how to do older mature crowds. You got to be versatile. Yeah, you know? yeah. Most of the like my crowd for the Latinos, you know, I already do all the Latino yeah. rooms. They love me and give me yeah. mad love. Mm -hmm. And I have never had anybody say, "Oh, you know, she didn't curse, so I want my money back." They no, don't. no, funny as fuck. Like, no, Funny, no, you know they don't saying? think about that. So when people give me the intro, she's a clean comedian. You already no, you put bias that. in yeah, somebody's yeah, yeah, head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just giving the out. She's been on this. She's yeah. been on that. Give it up for my girl. They never even pay attention right, right. unless they, you're not funny. Then right. they be like, yeah. she wasn't funny. Mm -hmm. But if you were funny, mm -hmm. they don't Yeah, care. they don't think about the cuss. They don't. Funny. Yeah. Because I know uh, it's oh. funny. I, when I was watching this little commercial, I'm going to watch it when it comes up, the history of comedy this episode. One of the, they, they had a little promo for it. And one person said, uh, being dirty is easy. Mm. Try being clean. You yeah, know I mean? you have to be more creative. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying because to get people to laugh, I'm saying like if you're doing like the old folks home or something, they might really just laugh at anything. I right. don't know, mm -hmm. but yeah. in a real comedy club, if you have a clean set, you do have to be more creative yeah. than everyone else. Mm -hmm. Because that is you got, true. you know what I'm saying? Because they trying to come there to be turned and get their drink on right. and laugh and hear something right. nasty. So you talking about hey, when well, my credit card didn't yeah. work, yeah, they be yeah. like, nah. Uh -uh. I remember I did. A you gotta be. <laughs> you know, elevate your game. That just reminded me of years ago. Uh, I think Jamario McClain, you know Jamario? Yeah, yeah. Jamario. He, he had this yeah. gig. Yeah. It was an old folks home up in like Canoga yeah, Park. I remember that gig. <laughs> and yeah. it was basically, you walk in the room, it's 20 old white people. I'm oh talking about God. old yeah. white ladies. Sitting I'm in, talking about. In a wheelchair. They all, shit. wheelchairs. Some of them got the IV <laughs> connected to them. It's about 20 of them. Yeah. Oh I mean, God. they average from 70 to, to 90. 90. Yeah, you know what I mean? I would say that, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do my jokes. They just looking at you. They're just, just looking like they yeah. just like they just amazed. And I'm like, hey, nothing worked. I did like 20 minutes, and they just this was them just looking all. That so, wasn't you though. That was just <laughs> that them. Was a challenge. Yeah, oh, that was wait. one time it was the audience. <laughs> oh, but uh, Jamario had a, what he did was he went up there. He played. He was smart. He knew how to do it. He played. He put on some Frank Sinatra, and he just lip synced some Frank Sinatra songs. Amen. And they were like, they were, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, man, I should have did, did that. that yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Jamari will have a room anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> he'll get a room. Like, yeah, he had a, well, he had an outdoor room <laughs> in the back of the yard Mexican house. Spot. 
had yeah. one with the Mexican food in the backyard. I remember I did his uh, his sister's birthday party, and his whole family yeah. was there, and it was nice. They had it in a little club, yeah. and his father was saying some heckling. And I didn't know it was his father yeah. at this time. And mm -hmm. I was like, who is this old motherfucker back here talking <laughs> shit? And I said something about him, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And Jamar was like, that's my dad. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Once had a good bad. time. They what? had a good time. And like, now they always laugh about it, how their fathers still talk about how I killed him. <laughs> one time I, I messed with Jamiri. I always mess with her. I see him because one time he was at the J-Spot. This few years ago. He didn't have a great set. He didn't have a great set. But the next day on his Insta on his Facebook, Instagram, he put up a picture. Yeah, I just killed the J-Spot last night. I'm like, Jam Jamir, I put it Merc on. I was like... No, no, Merc the yeah, crowd. I was, was there. Merc, I was like, I Merc was there. So I was messing with him. <laughs> Merc the I said, crowd with these killers. Okay, shout out to our friend. <laughs> shout out to yeah. Jamir yeah, McClain. Yeah, That's the homie right yeah. there. Yeah, but, but this comedy game is a trip, so... Yeah, you know man. You got to get your grind on. And it's just, you know, it's just you. we've all... we. We're all vets in the game. We've seen a it change. It's like it's like it's you have to adapt to it. How how do you do that? Like you got to adapt to the now the social media age. You know, to me, like some of the old school, especially the ones who are kind of like bitter with their career or whatever, yeah. Oh, yeah. they be hating on the new jacks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me, I don't hate on them because yeah. to me, if you got a little YouTube channel and you getting your yeah. little voice out there, I don't hate the player. More power hate to the them. Game, yeah. You know yeah. What I'm yeah. yeah. So um, I think that people who feel like oh, well, they only booking these YouTube comics that got this and that. And they ain't even funny, blah, blah, blah. Uh, for some, it might be true. Right. But then for some, I think yeah. that's dope that yeah. they getting their numbers up, getting their self booked, yeah. and creating and a little you, you name, branding down, themselves, you know? and yeah. being more proactive in their career. You know what I'm saying? Not waiting for an agent to come along. They yeah. shooting their own movies now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's smart. And um, that's what's up. I think mm. that's really good. And you gotta, you, you know? have to, you have to adapt with the time. And that's what I tell a lot of comics of my generation. You have to adapt with the times. Get yeah, on social don't. media. Even myself, I have to, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I have to tell myself, Jamal, you gotta make more videos, and you gotta, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You have to adapt with the times. Don't yeah, be no sick. matter what profession, yeah. right? Don't be but mad. I do encourage the new jacks to put quality stuff out there, though. Amen. Okay, because some of them be putting like, come on, it's and, be like and work on, and you know, yeah. and, and get out there. Yeah. Be like, come on, yeah. really, and, and get out there and really work on your the jokes, game with you know? this right here, you know. So that too, the yeah. new jacks put out good quality stuff, come up with funny stuff and, mm -hmm. and get yourself out there, that's cool. But when you disrespecting the game or you disrespect vets on your videos and talking about who paved the way for you, that's disrespectful. Don't do that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Yeah. And, and a lot of them do that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do don't that. Don't do that. I haven't seen that. Don't I'll you do that? Them. I don't have no problem with that. We don't do yeah. that. And stop. Some of them, I know they'll, they'll, they'll take a deaf comedy jam joke and then make a sketch about it. Yeah. That, that's fine. That's but as long as you give, give the homage, make sure you, hey, I've seen this. This is, you know, I've seen this joke. I just wanted to do a video version of it. They do that. Get yeah. Me, you yeah. know, say who it was. Say who it or was. Whatever. Yeah, and if you make some money off it, give them some, give them a little check. Give them or a check. Or something. Yeah. If you getting paid off of it, they should too. Exactly. It's, so it's yeah. It's just it's just I, I always think like what's going what's going to be the in the next 10 years, how's it going to change? Like, you know, our jokes oh, just no. going our jokes just going to be in people's heads and shit. We just yeah, going to look at them and go. <laughs> Put a little microchip for your jokes in there. And they're just going to be right in their head. It's just like, I don't know. man, it's just social. It's just the, the world has changed, but you have to, you have to adapt with it, man. You just can't be, like you said, a bitter comic sitting home mad and, you know, not taking out there. You got to take But some of them got man. dogged out though. You know what I'm saying? In the game, uh, they just got lost in the shuffle. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Early it was Def Jam. Oh, if you didn't do Jeff Jam, then you just disappeared. Yeah. Nobody want to yeah. book you. Mm -hmm. Now it's if you ain't whatever, LOL, or yeah. if you ain't whatever. And to me, I feel like people still have a chance to get themselves out there and they have no excuse. You got yeah. a cell phone at home. So why are you mad that, oh, I don't have an agent or right. I don't have this? Right. When you could just be like, hey, this is me. I'm yeah. about to do Scooby-Doo right now yeah. and then start Edited. doing Scooby-Doo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And mm -hmm. somebody will see it. Yeah. Somebody will see it. Everybody watches it. They might not like it because right. people be hating, but they see it. No, they see it. They, they see, see it. it. Mm. They see it. They do. So we do a little. We do this thing. We got little segments that we do at Wanda. One thing we do is the dope of the week. It's sort of like somebody just acting a fool, and the, you know, we okay. just yeah. we talk about it. I, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with this story. If you're into sports, um, this is uh, I love sports. Yeah. Uh, a fan, I'm gonna get his name right now. I should have. I apologize. Uh, 
I don't know if you even got his name, but basically a random fan was at, you know, the, it's, it's training camp for all the, all the NFL, NFL teams. teams oh, right. okay. Training camp Football, right now. Okay. So they out there practicing and getting stuff like ready. that. And, you know, a bunch of fans come and watch him. So I mm-hmm. guess a, the, at the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, training camp, a fan dressed up in Pittsburgh for Pittsburgh Steelers uniform. Yeah, like he was on the team. And walked out on the field and started and practicing. And was practicing with the players. With the players. As if he was, until they found, realized they he was out there for a while yeah. before they realized. But wasn't was, getting it in though? He like was, they was like, that he was he was stretching and stuff like that. I, I you know, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> but the only, only only reason they knew who he was is that he, when they noticed the number, they realized it was a retire. It was Troy Palomalo's number, and that number's retired. Oh. So if he'd have wore another number that they wouldn't have noticed, he would have got to go through the whole damn practice. So I, let me let Somebody me. Somebody wouldn't have noticed. They'd be like, he ain't on the team, you know. What I mean? And then he you didn't have the, the hair sticking out too. I mean, you know. But did I mean, he go to jail? But Troy is retired. I don't think they. You can't take did a guy. No, no, they kind of laugh. They just impersonating they the football they, player. They just let him. Uh, <laughs> they just let him. Uh, yeah, they just walked him off the field. They but didn't. you know. But with that being said, those, a crazy person could have got out there and hurt somebody. Hey, and that's right. true. That's true. So the that fan, is kind of dope, though. As yeah, a fan, yeah, he out be there. Like, I was with him. I, you know, I was down. <laughs> I practiced. Yeah. And I suited up with him. Oh, his boys is it's clowning It's a dream come day. true, though. Girl, but he, he should have any fan. Come on. Now, how, the way he got away with this at Winder, like at training camp, what it is. So and most teams have fifty four players. Yeah, and they got like. But 90. at training camp, they have ninety players. People so got to get cut. They're still coming. Yeah. yeah. So you can blend in because there's so many players. You don't know who is who. So you can blend in, and so that's what he did. He blended in. He was in the stretching line. Just put his helmet on. And and so this happened. This happened. Uh, Tony Roberts did this. Y'all, yeah. The Tony. Did you hear that Tony Roberts did this? Yeah. Uh, he did this at the New at Orleans the uh, Pelicans New Orleans game. Pelicans game. Tony okay. Tony Roberts, the comedian, uh, a hilarious he, comedian. Yeah. He. You know the he story. Went on court. Yeah. yeah. Tony. What happened was he was there doing a show for. Uh, Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis, yeah. Okay. Right? So, he was in New Orleans doing a comedy so show. So he yeah. had a, Tony had a, a Pelicans warm-up suit on or whatever, and he was sitting courtside. And he got up out of his seat and started warming up with him, and he was in the layup line and shit. Oh, and all, my And God. they didn't even notice for a while until somebody said, hold on. Who is this This dude? big, he overweight out here, whatever. They thought he was, you know, they knew he was bigger than a hooper. And he was chubby, and they noticed, and then uh, yeah, they had a big kick out of it. He got the, he got the ball <laughs> oh, and shot. He, somebody yeah. passed him the ball. Yeah. Now that's hard in basketball because only tw- 12, 15 players yeah. on right. out there and they warming know up. Each other yeah. Too. yeah. They asked Tony about it. Tony said he was he was sitting down, um, oh, watching the game. It. He was in the stands. You know, he was front row. He got a good ticket. He was and in course, and he realized he had the same uniform on that they got. Yeah, he had the same warm-up. He warm had the up. same warm-up the uniform. Warm up on. So he said, it just hit me in my head. He said, I'm a, I'm a, he said, I got up and I started stretching. I said, let me, he said, he started stretching to see if anybody say anything to him. Ain't nobody say nothing to him. So he said, he, 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 he asked one of the other players, like, hey, give me the ball. And the guy gave him the ball. He said, so I shot it. Yeah. Oh, so, right. <laughs> <laughs> And then they like, hold on, you ain't on I the damn team. I wish he would have had a video of that, man. Yeah, so I'm going to just read this. Uh, <laughs> so they never had the, uh, so the dope of the week, they don't have his name. Fans Fans can be a little crazy. The Pittsburgh Steelers were reminded of that on Saturday when a fan in uniform and wearing the f- number 43 of former safety Troy Palomar snuck into practice and challenged Antonio Brown. The fan said he could cover Brown, but the wide receiver opted not to humor the fan. The Steelers staff took care of the situation without incident. So he walked up to Antonio Brown like, I'm going to guard you. Antonio Brown, the best wide receiver in the game. Man, that's hilarious. <laughs> Man, that's, oh, my God. Everybody think they can, that's like somebody coming to us, like, yeah, I challenge you to a joke off or something like that. Just a regular like they, why everybody think they can just do what we? What, I mean, I used. I don't you think know, he thought he I could mean, play though. I, I think sat there and watched games and thought, like, hold on, man, I could do this, but damn, I ain't gonna go down to Staples Center and just get on the court with him, no shit. But he must have been big enough to fit in. Like, yeah, he, he must yeah. probably play ball and was like, I'm just gonna go for it. Now, see, we messed up at he walked up to Antonio. Brown and challenged him. He would have just blended in. You yeah, know what I mean? He and made his number that. on the jersey too. They would have been like, yeah. He had he had so. Troy Palomaro number. Yeah. Like, come on, every every he'd retire. Plus, you don't have the long Troy Ma- yeah. Palomaro used to have. Plus, had that he's long retired. Hair. What would he be on the field for? With his own shit on. I mean, if he on the field, he out there with in his street clothes talking to him. 
Man, I tell you. So. I like that story, though. Yeah, yeah that, so that, that, that is the funny, dope of the though. week. That Everybody fan, don't want to do that. <laughs> that is yeah. the dope of the week. I wanted to give Omarosa the dope of the week, but well, that can be a whole hour, huh, dumb behind. At least. Um, uh, but this fan who, unknown, wherever you at, man, I hope it was worth it. He got a hell of a story. He can tell his grandkids. Yeah, yeah, he said, I went. I practiced with the Steelers. <laughs> well, it's in a lifetime. You went for it, so hey. So listen, we have the dope question of the week. We haven't did that in a while, man. The dope question of the week, uh, Toby Hicks and Wanda White. So listen, I'm going to bring this up. This is a relationship question. Um, uh, Tatiana, I'm, if I'm saying her name right, she's she's married to Iman Shumpert. She's the singer. Okay, okay. You know who I'm talking about? Uh, Ta- yeah, I know Ta- you're talking about. I've Ta- seen it. I've seen her before, but I know, and I know Iman Shumper. Yeah, so there, the, she's a singer. She's he's a singer. Okay. He was in the NBA. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, Iman, Sh- she's, uh, Iman Shumpert is in, what team does he play for now? Went, I think they mm-hmm. trade him to the Kings, if I yeah. remember right. So, uh, Ta- Tiana Taylor, Tiana Taylor, that's her. So, okay. I guess before they got married, she asked him to write down his hit list. She hit asked him, to write down, make a list of all every woman he slept with. Oh, come on. And give it to her because she want to know. She, she, her thing was, <laughs> I don't want to look, have me, you know, I want to know who you slept with because I don't want us to be in public. I don't want you to have me out there looking crazy. Okay. You know, let's each other, we can write a hit list and just. That's unbelievable. Okay. That's and crazy. he did it. And he wrote out his hit list. Are you serious? And gave it to his, I guess they was fiance at the time before okay. they got, and gave it to her. And it's supposed to be, they all good with it. They, okay. you know? I can't believe he did it. Yeah. So oh. my question with both of you guys is oh, well. if your partner, before you got married, asked you for a hit list, would you do it? She gave him one too? Yeah, she gave him one too. Um, me, I wouldn't want to know, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's somebody that's going to be around me or something like that, then maybe he should tell me. Yeah, you know right, yeah. yeah. Family member, somebody, a close you know what friend or yeah, something. Yeah, somebody that I know is already around you. Uh, you know I used to hear songs. Yeah, so. yeah, you got to so tell it I'm not looking stupid to where she got yeah. one up on right, me. Like, right, I right. had your man or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got yeah, to let. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the hit list of, like, writing it down, that's kind of weird, isn't it? That is weird. Isn't it you know weird what? to ask for that? Because I guess she wouldn't have married me then. Because uh-uh, <laughs> I wouldn't, not. I can't even remember half of them on my head list. Well, that's what I'm saying. I couldn't even. I can't. I really so don't. Because it's they're really celebrities don't. and they're out, so maybe hey, she felt she needed to and especially, do that. But that's a lot to hey, ask. I, I, I can't, and I can't even remember them. I mean, like, I mean, they trying to act like he was hit. He was mowing them down. Like, <laughs> no, I, don't but I have a lot. Of I don't know if I can remember I'm not, everybody. I can't hey, 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 hey! I can't remember. I don't have no know, big hit list anyway. Yeah, I can't remember the girl you ain't supposed 20, to. I, I don't. But some women have a long. But what I'm saying is though, like, I mean, not just. Not only the fact that I've been with a lot of women, but it's also the fact, shit, I've been smoking weed with them, drinking. I can't remember mm-hmm. them name. I'm like, Juicy J, I call him last night. Uh, right. But it's like you're dating a regular girl who's not in the business. Then half of the people on the paper, and if you, ever re- you wouldn't even know them anyway. No, but you know, to be honest with you, I can't even remember girls. I had relationships with some of them. Like, I mean, like, okay, say I six months. You. Like, yeah, you know, I'm, saying, I'm not somebody that it was one night. I'm saying I can't remember. I guess it's the weed. So maybe I'm the wrong person to ask it. But no, I wouldn't give it out because I would be sitting there like... I think that's on a need to know basis. Only you know ones what I'm saying like yeah. if you at the BET Awards or something. Only ones I can remember. Like, oh, only ones I could. I mean, it's only I, only ones I can remember for sure is my kids, mama, and then about. <laughs> but that's good. <laughs> now what was you saying? About I mean, ten other ones. What was you <laughs> saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other, that's a good save with just a ba- the, hey, the baby other, mama. The yeah, other right. ten thousand I didn't forget. Okay, Will Chamberlain. So really? I'm, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna, so I'm, I'm gonna read the actual baby article. Will. Iman Shumpert gave. Iman Shumper gave his wife a list of all the women he'd been with. We have a, uh, here's the article. We have all. Can had, we see the list? Uh, I don't know if they're going. I don't know. Let me see if it's in there. We have had. We have had all had that awkward moment in relationship. You know that uncomfortable question, the one of about how many people you've been with before the two of you got together. Iman Shumper, com- currently of the Sacramento Kings, has taken a bold approach on that front. He gave his wife Tiana Taylor an exhausted list of every one of his past partners. Yes, he did do that. Uh, Iman Shumper says he gave Tiana hit list of everyone he's been with. He says, quote, I ain't going to have her feel embarrassed. Being so honest with your significant other about such an awkward topic is, is commendable from a number but, 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 of pers- perspective. 
perspectives. I'm amazed that he did it. I don't know any guy who would okay, really Okay, but that. look at it. Why does this even matter? Okay, say, for instance, wherever they met, let's say he wherever he grew up, what good is it going to be for her to know some girl that he... Uh, has sex with, say, in high school, whatever. Yeah, what is yeah. that? Y'all not even in the same town no more. They live in somewhere else. Why? But they I go mean, a lot of places because of their celebrity, you know. But I'm just saying, status. though, what, what so does she need to know about his stupid. whole sexual history? If he ain't got no STD, fuck all the other yeah. shit. Well, and, given, and, and, and giving her a hit list doesn't mean he gonna stop cheating. I mean, I don't know if he's or cheating. Or that doesn't mean that he he's gonna cheat, not going to cheat, period. You yeah, know that mean, saying? yeah. Maybe that just made her feel more secure Yeah, I think or she may be a little. He gave her yeah. that, you know. Yeah. And you know what? Um, I don't know. Some so people, I would have just made up names. I would have said Keisha, Keisha from Detroit. Hey, some people. Jessica from Cleveland. I was like, I don't, yeah, some people. Some people are just weird like that because you know what? I've heard women that have I've, I've seen women ask men about stuff like that, and I've I've had homeboys that tell me they asked a girl how many men she's no, been with. And I'm never, like, really? No, no I've had. I know no. that. women always tell you seven anyway. That's the <laughs> number. That's you know. the number. Women always just say seven. Every girl right. and every girl just <laughs> oh, I, I only started having sex when I got to college. Every but girl. But what I've if met. it's only seven though? Really. So, I'm just saying it might be. Some I mean, player, in some please. cases it could be, but but the point I'm Not making the way is, she was in bed. The point yeah, I'm making yeah. is that both sexes do ask that, and I just can't understand that from either side. I wouldn't want to know. I mean, it doesn't matter to me if the woman had two or two thousand. What what am I going to do about it? Exactly. I can't do nothing. It, I wouldn't care. I mean, for men, I like wouldn't say, need a list or anything. But only, I wouldn't know. If the only was, thing you know. is, if it's somebody I know, then I guess you'd want a person that would be fair to share with yeah, someone. Somebody if you way. were in like adult entertainment, I would want to know that before mm -hmm. I oh, yeah, that's married all another you. Thing, yeah. But other than that, mm -hmm. like regular, just mm -hmm. you know, dating and stuff, mm -hmm. I don't need to know all of that. And that's just somebody that's still in your life right now. Like, oh, oh, girl that worked at the job or whatever. Somebody you're going to see every day. Who was the one that, which one of them admitted that, who put the story out? Her well, he, he put the story out. Um, he put the story out. But now that I'm reading it, I don't think he, she gave him a list. I think he just gave her a list. Oh, then he She's the one that asked for it. Yeah, well, I don't it, think men would really want to know a list. No, I don't. I don't, don't, don't want to know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think a man would want to know that. I don't want to know that. That's. Mm -mm. I don't want to know it. I don't want to know it before. First thing, they, a woman is not. It's crazy to ask. A woman is not going to tell you the truth him, anyway. Because hey. like Chris Rock said, he had that joke. Women only count boyfriends anyway. They don't count the the, <laughs> the one night stand on a time morning uh, time joining cruise. They don't count the you know when they went to. The 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 wedding party and it Vegas they don't count that <laughs> they only count <laughs> boyfriends and then, like I said every girl I met well, if she did sometimes she volunteered it and she they all say seven I only slept with seven guys all of them they all right. say seven I'm like really. Yeah. Hey, oh, Iman looking like they gonna clown him when the season starts in the locker room. He like a real sucker for that move. <laughs> Writing down a list. Well, he gave her what she wanted, and he loved her enough to do it. So you know, uh, okay, and she'll yeah, never know right. if any of them names on there is even real. Yeah, he should have put her sister name on there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's done that would have been You want to play, play, like, play this game, huh? <laughs> And your cousin. No. All right, so listen, we... we, we... <laughs> Edwanda, uh, we do something called the Dope Seven. I'm going to ask you seven oh, wacky, boy. crazy okay. questions. And you just give me think yeah, today. Just, just whatever first thing comes to your head. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so let's get it in. Um, dope Seven. Uh, okay, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air question. Light skin on Viv or dark skin on Viv? Um, we're gonna go with uh, light. You like the dark skin? A lot of people like the dark skin. I, I, I thought she, but light skin on Viv did her did her thing. I like yeah, that too. Yeah, I like mm. the actress personally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last TV show you binged on? Oh, Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, I hear that's real It's so good. dope. Yes. I hear that, that's on Netflix. Bless no, Hulu. Be, Hulu. Oh, Hulu, yeah. yeah Blessed be the fruit. Yes. yes. Uh, all right, dope. Last time you been starstruck? Starstruck? I have never been starstruck, but the only person that would make me go, oh my God, would be Barack Obama. Oh, okay. That's that. Hey, you know what? Like, you know what out, of all the, out of all the people we've seen in LA, 
it t- happened to me twice, I remember. One time it was Stevie Wonder was right next to me. And another time I was at the car wash and Rick James was there. Wow. And I was just like, wow, look at Rick James. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that kind of fucked me up there. I'm sh- yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't I said, trip man, look like at this that dude because like, I work with everybody. Yeah. But anybody who have, anybody who have a party for a so month, cool they, they, they got me trip. starstruck. But Barack Obama, <laughs> yeah. I probably would trip too. You know, I would be like, that is a Barack Obama. I'm trying to think Obama if I was right ever a star because like you said, we in the industry, we see we, so many we see, people. We work but, with them all the time. It's not a big deal. Once the, the only time I guess I, I when I first moved out here, I used to work at Chevron gas station. I worked at nighttime shift okay. from ten to six, right off of Coanga and Franklin. Um, so I'm in there just by myself in a car, pull up Mercedes Benz. Guy walking, he and as he getting close, I'm like, he looks familiar. He gives me money. Let me get forty on six, and I, it's Karis one. Oh, Y'all, wow. I'm a big, you know, oh, KRS you know, okay. oh, one rapper. Hip hop. I'm that's <laughs> so he, you know, I'm looking at him. I'm like, yo, I'm okay. like KRS one. I'm like, yo, and this, this is like '99, and you know, I'm like. Yo, you know you're the greatest rapper of all time because I truly believe that. At that time, yeah. I, I Jay Z has overtook him now, but yeah. back '99, he was still the greatest rapper to yeah, me. Yeah, he's, he's still in my top five, top oh, three. Yeah. Oh yeah, KRS One. So, and, I, he, and it's just funny when I told him he had this look on his face. He was like, "Man, I appreciate that." No, man, I appreciate. And I know he get that a lot, but he was, you know, I appreciate. Yeah, everybody that. idolized and, him in the game. You know he, what I'm saying? He put, he put the gas in, and as he pulled off, he was he he, he did, gave me a pound as he pulled off. So that was the yeah. time I was starstruck. Um, okay. Um, okay. All right. So yeah, where we at? We on three questions. Uh, okay. Um, mm, if you were not a comedian, what would you be doing? Um, I was a teacher for many years. Wow. And I love wow. kids. I still work with kids. We have yeah. organizations that work with kids. I dated a teacher and, um, for a long time. Did you? What I grade love did you kids. Teach? Um, middle school, six, oh, seven, seven, eight. Educated. And, and, educated. Yes, you got a degree. I have a degree. Oh. And yes, I love um, just kids, especially inner city kids, the ones who are like the yeah. little knuckleheads and yeah. stuff. Because I used to be a bad kid, like talking in class mm-hmm. and having a smart mouth yeah. and an attitude and yeah. all that. But, uh, and then when you get these kids and you realize that they're just like you and they realize that you're just like them, mm. you're able to teach them. You know, wow. I, I love that. Yeah. So any programs that help kids. Yeah. Working That's, with that, yeah. I didn't know. We got to talk about that. We're yeah. going to come back to that. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, favorite episode of Martin? Martin, uh, when... Let's, oh, when Pam and Tommy got together. Oh. And they were trying to hide it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember that. Because I love the show, but it gave it more depth yeah. when they kind of was sneaking around and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So that, yeah. I remember I that episode. I love Martin, by the way. Oh. Where they, where they was trying to live, but they realized, Tommy, Tommy and Pam, where they realized they was opposites. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? They, um, and they realized, okay, maybe better us be friends. But, yo, cool, cool. Favorite city to perform in? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to to say uh, I'm gonna say Atlanta. Wow. I'm gonna say Atlanta, Georgia, wow. or Dallas. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love California. I'm from California, yeah. so shout out to Cali, of course. Mm-hmm. But Dallas gives or, it up, man. I love yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. A lot of people say a lot of, a lot of urban mm-hmm. comics don't like Atlanta. They say it's kind of well, rough down there. if they love you, they really love you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If they don't like, because yeah, they don't you know. like the fake. Ain't that you where they boo? I'm, I'm not from uh, Atlanta. Jay JB Smooth. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, okay. I'm not gonna speak on that. I love JB, so I'm not. Gonna, yeah, was, yeah, but no, yeah. they don't like the fake the yeah, fakeness. Yeah, if he had to follow Michael real, Blackson too. That was if yeah. you don't come real, they would let you know right away. Yeah, Atlanta. So the people who Atlanta will tell fake, you to kill yourself. They don't fake the funk, you Atlanta? know. So yeah, yeah, Atlanta and Dallas. Dallas. Shout Atlanta. out, yeah. All right, cool. Atlanta and Dallas. All right. Um, uh, I think last question. All right. Uh, if you were an Olympic athlete, if you were an oh Olympic God. athlete, what sport would it be? <laughs> God, probably volleyball because I um I, I like the idea of hitting something or sucking something really Pound hard or ball, something. Yeah. I'm not good enough to be a boxer to yeah, fight yeah. somebody, but hitting so the volleyball? ball. Volleyball okay. probably, okay, yeah. I, can I probably okay. can like, you know, spike a few little okay. something. The beach volleyball out there like that? No. The body for that, you know what I'm saying? I'm oh, you right, you did a regular team, volleyball, short, okay. not the with little, you okay. know, all right, cool. Not a full team, that's so, funny. Yeah. Or basketball, I played basketball in mm-hmm. high school and college. I had some little hoops, you know what I'm saying? Oh, back silky, in the day, silky, so what was your, your point guard? You was a point, point guard, guard yeah, okay. yeah. I played what high school, you went to Linwood High, Linwood High, okay. Yeah. Shout out to Linwood High, yeah, okay. I got one bonus question. When you're done with the dope segment, we'll just ask you a bonus question Who should be the next James Bond? 
The next, okay, first of all, it's definitely Idris Elba. <laughs> That's what they okay. saying. Okay, yeah, they're saying that. They've been moving towards that for a long time, and I think they already made the decision. They mm-hmm. just wanted to see how the public was going, uh-huh. you know, to see if they ready. You think it's going to happen? I believe so, yeah. Mm. I believe so, and he would be the perfect he one. He would be, yeah. Because he's chocolate enough for the yeah. hood, but then he has that British accent. Yeah. He's so not he too old. Kinda, you don't think he's too old? No, and he got the size. Not, Look how old like, Roger Moore and all them motherfuckers was. All no, them old white they men. Didn't start, they didn't start all off old. They, they was 60 years old no, playing all of them them. are old players. Roger Moore wasn't 60 years old. 60, when he Sean Connery and was 60 years old when they were playing James Bond. Oh, I'm going to look that up. I don't know about no, Not he's that. fun. He's sexy. He has the accent. Yeah. And yeah, mm. all, every race of woman would love him, and nobody could be mad. Okay. So go mm. ahead and do it. It's going to work. Yeah, I hope they do that, but I don't know, boy. It's enough white Some people. Some people don't do. like that. That's why we don't have no black bachelor. Yeah, that's see now and then. Do that. <laughs> and then now uh, we got it's a black because, princess now. So you know, you know what's funny yeah, but now. That's different when it's the woman. You yeah. know what's funny now yeah, is do that. Yeah, when it's the woman. Yeah, but not the fu- men. that's what I was about to say. What's funny now is that. Uh, Remember about three or four years ago when the, the black man had the white wife in the commercial and the daughter put the uh, mm-hmm. Skittles on yeah, it yeah, and they, everybody got all mad? Yeah. Now, now you see all these commercial. black women with white men and yeah. or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. 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 yeah, or vice Now That's funny mm-hmm. yeah. because it's now it's true. so they many interracial commercials But now. they don't put no black man hardly with no white woman. They're not doing that well, shit. Well, because it's happening so much in real life, we don't need to see that. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, here he go. Oh, Did he ring the don't bell? Don't build a podcast. Wait a minute now. That's Talk about it. Let's talk about I'm Let's, not mad. I ain't mad at nobody. It's more, you know that's a myth. Emma. There's a you, lot. It's more There's brothers a lot. with sisters. Boy, right now I can make it's, you a list. Are you serious? Who? I could ramble off it's so more, many. It's you talking about some celebrities? Like, well, and, okay. and real people that I know. But that's fine. That's their choice. That's funny. They was just, I was that's in a barbershop today. But I'm saying the and, real reason is because we don't need to see it because it's happening in real life. Hey, but it's happening the show. other way too. Why they showing the black women because with the white were, men? It's hap- that happens too. Because it's subliminal brainwashing. What you That's mean? what marketing what? is. They want you to see what they want you to see. Yeah, they they, they don't want they don't want they, to think about. They don't it. want to plant the image. None of us of the are other. big Mandinga warriors with their white women. You're they not can't do see that. that. You're not gonna see that. Yeah. If you see the biracial couple, you're gonna see a black man. With the white now my, man. Now, my homegirl, uh, she's about to oh, get married. Oh, oh, my, my, uh, at Wanda. Did, did I go too far? It's true. What'd you say? What'd you say? say that again? I, I missed uh, that. Am I lying, though? I missed it. Say it again. She said they show interracial they uh, show gay a, couples, black men and a white man. They'll show Whoa. that. Oh, it's just, <laughs> sure. Um, Who's auditioning for those roles? I don't know. <laughs> um, they're they're going to do that. But my homegirl, she met, she she's black and always dated black guys, but she was having a hard time dating. She was on match. She found a white guy. I'm going to their wedding next month. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. To me, love is love. Yeah, but yeah. The point is, a lot of times there's separation between us because... Some of the black women got mad. It was like, oh, you don't want us? Then I'm going to go to another race. And they're going to. But I don't think. Is it, is it really? We don't want them. It's just. Also, because black. Also no, they're feeling black like they're not it. being chosen. Because a lot of times, if but they don't are, look like Beyonce, they not number one draft but pick. It, they sitting it, on the bench. Is it about. I want to start. But it's about being you chosen, know? or it's just that it's not enough black men for black women. No, you know, that's a myth. Most city, no, that's, that's not, not a myth. It, why, no, in, 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 where I'm Philadelphia, I come myth. black women outnumber black men like twenty five to one in Philadelphia. It's just because you okay, know a lot of niggas killing fu- each other. But there's a lot of good. It's a lot of good that, women yeah. and a lot of good men that pass each other up. There's women who it's, have big money, and then they won't date the regular dude that's working at UPS. She don't want him. Well, who fault is that? Well, that's her fault. So, I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah. There's a black man she could have had, so, but yeah. she don't want him. So she going to get But guess what? Get how you going to get mad if Susie say, hey, I'll hang out with you in your UPS yeah, truck? Yeah, they, yeah. they can't get mad. When well, how it, you going to be mad? Yeah, I yeah. ain't mad either way. It don't matter yeah. to I'm me. I'm not mad. Yeah. I'm not mad. I mean, That's I don't. Hey, if I see if I see a black man with a white woman, that don't bother me. If I see a white uh, black woman with a white man, that don't bother me. Mm-hmm. A lot of black men are not even with. See, a lot of women used to get mad and say, "Oh, it's only white women." Black men don't even choose white women as much. They like Latino women now mm. and biracial women now, and a lot of different other, you know, Filipinos yeah. and stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm not my lying. grandfather. I know hey, I'm I ne- and about. I never was. They was just I talking never, about this in the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? And that's true. You know what I'm saying? They not, they not um, doing that no yeah, more. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, I agree mm-hmm. with that. And I remember my grandfather told me when I was young. Uh, 
you know, he grew up in Alabama, so the racism and all that. But, you know, he wasn't racist, but he was just like, let me tell you something. You can you can date any type of woman you want. You can bring it. He said, that don't bother me. He said, if you want to date a white woman, that don't bother me. But just let me tell you one thing. Do not date a white woman that the white men don't want. Oh, wow. amen, amen on that. Grandpa, you know amen what? on that. Anyway. Yep. And I always, I, I always, I, I, that always stood out in my mind. Let me, yeah, I'm, I'm not nev- racist. I, I've never dated a white woman, if, and I probably, I, you know, I love my sister. Well, I, I would have. love you. Um, Are you I serious? Have. Well, they you from Omaha. Don't so you yeah, get yeah. on a lot, though, uh, by I, white women? I don't, I, I love my sisters. I, but let me but tell you something. If I did though, date right? a white woman, she gonna be the one of the finest. I ain't yeah, dating no regular. Cause see, I ain't dating no Roseanne Barr. What if she's really good to you? Oh hell what no! I ain't dating no Roseanne Barr looking white woman. Look, and you know what? Because of well, his, because it was good. Nebraska. My grandfather told me that at like fourteen. So I knew, you know, because we was dating white. I mean, we was had biracial relationships in high school. That was nothing right. into, in my yeah, class. If, if I date a white, if I marry a white woman, she's gonna look like Scarlett Johansson. That's why I'm t- I'm gonna have a white woman so fine, I'll take her to the uh, you know, I'm Muslim. I'll take her to the mass jid. Even the I brothers ain't be mad like, at the game. I'm gonna take hey, that right hey, now. That's how hey, that's a fine that white like, woman. Like, hey, but that's I like I said, that's, that's, that's what, the truth on real yeah, talk. That's, that's what grandpa said. And and you know, I mean, I've been through a lot with uh, all types of women. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, Toby been, Toby, you know, <laughs> Toby been well, through it. So, it, it, uh, don't I mean, me it's it, it, that is the shortage. It's not a shortage. It's that. It, no, it, lot, is, it is a shortage. It is really not. Okay. I've been in some a lot. states, in some states, yes. But I'm talking about in terms of heterosexual. Not in California, but in Phil- in because some a lot states, of guys sure. move out here. Sure, if you go to Alaska, then, then no, but in Philadelphia, it's, women, it's like 30, 25 to one. It's, it depends on what's what the state. ratio here in, in, you go in, to in Atlanta, California. You gonna lose your man? Don't I, what's, go there. What's the ratio? I don't in think California. it's as bad because a lot of guys move out here for the entertainment industry. Go so it's to not, a certain state, but I'm saying yeah. the point is there are men available to every woman, but they're not choosing to be with each other. So we can't do anything about that. If a black man and black woman say, I'm not compatible, and then they choose to be with another race, you can't be mad. (laughs) Well, okay, this guy right here that worked for the post office, he asked you out. Man. You didn't want to go because oh he's not he doesn't make six he got figures benefits. He got and good he benefits. doesn't do this and you work at. Hey, the, I'm gonna whatever. tell you I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit. You like, have your PhD. I don't know not, how this whatever. shit works. But that I, was a man. I'm gonna but tell you y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all something real. And so I don't know how this. I'm gonna come back on that. I'm gonna touch. Let's now, now maybe say, you I'm gonna come can help because I don't know how this works. But like, uh, shout out to Felipe. Felipe sponsored his podcast is sponsored by eHarmony. So because he's okay. married, mm-hmm. you know, Felipe was like, "Hey man, I get, they got they want to give you they can give us a free subscription to eHarmony and blah blah blah." I know you're oh, single that's nice. and whatever. So they hooked me up, whatever. So I started putting my info there, and I never done anything like that, you know. And I, and it asked for race, what what woman you want. I just put it didn't matter, whatever. And all the people that's coming back compatible to me are white women. Like for real, like well, the no bullshit in life. Like, like yeah, probably everything. are white women things, yeah. Just on paper. <laughs> I'm saying, like, if you win, you like bungee jumping, <laughs> you like outdoor sports. <laughs> Black women so gonna be like, Mom, you I'm enjoy messing up white my hair, stuff. swimming. Yeah. That's out. I ain't messing up my weed, messing with you. I mean, Not all, of, all, all of the people, all of the people I've been compatible uh, with them don't see white because and, of the and things you some, like. And there's some Latino, but there wasn't showing too many Black women. Right, only a couple Black women have been compatible. Mm. And it's some black women that do that same profile and they match them with white men. Because they'll say, oh, I want an outdoor, someone who likes horseback riding Mm -hmm. and long rocks and reading and so on, so this and that. You trying to say brothers don't do horseback riding? I didn't say that. I (laughs) said, go ahead and look at him. (laughs) But I just put, I like to smoke weed and what, you know, and all this. And they're like, hey, so, and yeah. you wouldn't be a man if they would have came back with now, Akeisha and them and I, Shantae. Then you'd be like, oh, why they only mess me up with black women? But no, I, I ain't mad. Because like to I'm smoke just, weed. I want to touch on a point. I'm not mad. I, I was just shocked at how I ain't saying me, but I'm just saying everybody. I, I, I want to come back to a point that you made earlier. I want to, because oh, you're talking about uh, educated women and women who make a lot of money, how they feel like what guy. I, for some reason, I don't know, why do educated women or women, successful black women, why do they feel entitled to what they think the guy I deserve. Like, I, I meet a lot of educated, successful black women. When you say deserve, women. what do you mean by well, that? Well, okay. they, in their mind, if you talk to them, they have a, a what guy, well, I have these degrees, I make this, okay. so I deserve this type of guy. Like you said, okay, they wouldn't look woman. twice at the guy who works at the post office because in their mind, 
Yeah, he's not but at my level. He, what if he can't? What if he's that guy is your they soul gonna miss partner. out what on he, all of yeah. those guys? And, and a, a lot and of miss, a lot out. of are missing and out. They are missing out. But the point is, every woman is entitled to have what she wants. If she wants an educated man, she should have one. Mm -hmm. Because if she gets with a man who's not educated, she's going to guess what? Cheat with an educated man because she never got what she wanted. Mm -hmm. So don't settle. So the point is, you'll see in, in the reverse, you guys do us like that. You working at UPS, but then you want me to look like Beyonce. <laughs> Fool, you don't look like you. You ain't nobody who was what? I got to look like Rihanna. You talking about, talking about fly niggas case. don't work in UPS? I, I know some fly niggas saying, that work in UPS. I ain't saying they ain't fly, but I'm just saying your standard <laughs> right, is right. different to where, oh, well, oh, girl, she's sweet. She got a good job. Good credit, she do everything right. She could cook, but uh, I can't wife her. I can't wife her because you know she don't look like this. I look like that. Who are you, fool? You ain't no. Well, yeah, that's no that's kind of crazy. Super, you ain't playing up in the NFL. Who you? I ain't uh, you, you and that's saying? crazy. Yeah, because I ain't never looked. So then I, they're not dating regular women either. They looking for the video girl. So you got a lot of people just walking around delusional. Right. Men and, and women. So it's the man over there and it's the woman over here who are not getting what they want because he won't Beyonce and she wants the Fortune 500 dude. So nobody's happy. Yeah, yeah. And, and, so guess what? Chrissy, who works at the gas company and makes 150000 or whatever, she's the manager, is going to date what? Chad. Because Chad is going to take her sailing and Chad is going to take her to the restaurant she's used to doing and going to buy her her, the uh -huh. Prada bags and the this and that without being a rapper, without having to have two bullet minimum, whatever, worrying about her safety. That's why she makes that choice. If she could find a brother who was at that level who would treat her like Chad, she would be with him. Uh, Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. You get the bell. She for would that. be with him. You get the A. Hey, amen. <laughs> You get to, I just, you know, I, and I got a lot of homegirls, they, they trying mm -hmm. to get married, they trying it's to. It's real. But they, you know, a lot of them, I just, just think is a little, little, uh, a little delusional or just they, they, you know, what they feel. Because I was like this. So the, the girl, the cashier at Target, she's not entitled to a certain type of guy? Or she's she not? She is. So, she's entitled to the women, very best of what she thinks is the yeah, best for yeah. her. Because if you ask... Cause I'm like I, I talk to educated, successful black yeah, women, I don't and I care be like, about all that. You you say so that doesn't matter. you act like just because you got that. So the girl, the cashier, Target, she don't she doesn't deserve. No, it's not a, about economics. You know? It's not at all. Like I'm saying, the girl who works in corporate America and the girl who is the cashier at Target, mm -hmm. they're the same. Right. They're entitled to what they want. Right. If this lady wants to walk on the wild side and want a fine thug life dude who puts it down, then that's what she needs to get. Mm -hmm. But she might not want that right in reality she want to play around with the thug like yeah, dude yeah, she can't, but for her she security can't short, yeah. she want like look give me the, I, I gotta have the champagne and caviar I can't step down mm -hmm. And I don't, yeah. why should I have to? I worked hard. I went to school. I did everything I was supposed to do. I worked out. I was physically fit. And I, I, I why should I have the husband I want to have? Well, mm. I guess everybody got a right. Or yeah, the they got a right. They got a right to feel like that. Okay, then. Yeah, just, yeah, it goes, yeah, it goes both but ways. But guys are superficial and they might be working at Target or they might be working Fortune 500. But guess what? They want her to look like this, this, and this. And if she doesn't, then now she's not the wife. I don't know. I never thought. I don't know. Me personally, I never thought about it like that. So, huh? so women are losing. Oh, I ain't perfect. Okay. Uh, I like good. all types. I like, I like all races. I, I'm looking, all I'm types. Looking for good heart. That's why. Short I'm hair, long hair. Tell the curly truth. Curly hair. Don't you care what the fellas think when you bring a woman somewhere and they be like, "Oh, that's you, bro. Oh, that's you. Oh, I see what you doing." They look at you better. Like, well, I would say. Yeah, when I, I was when you younger, see? yeah, when you younger, you think so like that. As you get older, though, you don't care about no shit like that. I, I, I can but see I just, that. I do always but remember. I mean, but I do have some fellas. Some, if she white, like my grandpa I'm, said, I, that's when I care because hey, you know, it'd be like, oh shit. Because I see, mean, so everybody missing I, I, I get that. I seen but a then brother. I get the opposite too. Because some, you know, my my homies say I got a different type of what I like. So some of them be yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, what? Somebody be like, somebody be like, Jamal. Like, but I don't know what they talking about. From the hood. I know, hey, yeah. Hey, listen, I don't know what they talking about. They beautiful to me. Right. Oh, well, good for they you. They beautiful. I don't know hey, what they talking about. Oh, they are. They beautiful. Look at my eyes. They just. 
<laughs> Jamal didn't have some. <laughs> yeah, Jamal didn't have some. Jamal be pulling the boo boo mamas. Oh my god! <laughs> he be listen, like, bro. Listen, hey, listen. woo, man. Okay. I, I like. I you listen. So they he beautiful. running again. They beautiful to me. They beautiful, but I know. Act, listen, I keep it real, at Wanda. He I had, had some nines. Bro. He had a brother. I had some like, nines. Mm-hmm. I've had some eights. I had yeah. some sevens. Mm-hmm. I had some sixes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had some yeah. fives. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going no lower than fives. Yeah. He didn't have the fives though. Yeah. So they talking about the couple fives. I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Had, had a couple bit, like, had a couple bit you... nickels. Right. Man, man. <laughs> yeah, like what are okay. you doing well, yeah, you tonight with again, yourself? Man. I ain't got no problem with Somebody you. Somebody setting us up from London. Hey, oh, El hey, London. San Cara. Hello from hey. London, UK. Hey. hey. What's we going on? Fun here. So listen, we're going to ch- kind of change the mood and just uh pay homage, you know, we re- you know, this is the two hosts of this show are are comedians and we love the the comedy game and we and we love our comedian brethren. And uh, this week uh, we lost, well, last week we lost um, uh, one of our members of our comedy family, uh, Simply Marvelous. She passed yeah. away. Simply Marvelous. Real name yeah. was Marva L. Moncrief. Moncrief. Moncrief, um, uh-huh. Yeah, she, she passed away in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I think that was her hometown. Yeah, yeah. Yes. At the age of 64. Um, I, you know, I, I never met Simply Marvelous. I think we... When I first got out here, we may have passed each other, but obviously I knew her from her Def Comedy Jam yeah. set. Yes. Still, mm-hmm. to this day, it's one of the reasons I got into comedy. I remember watching Def Comedy Jam with my, you know, I was still living with my mom, and I remember she came out there, how you doing? And, mm-hmm. and LT. Hey, how and, and, your mama doing? How your mama And how I your remember mama my doing? mom was, you know, loved her, and I remember uh, seeing her on, um, she had an HBO special too. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And I, 30 minute mm-hmm. special, and I remember seeing that, and um, I, I, you know, I didn't hear from her for a long time. I didn't really know what was going on uh, with her. I don't know if she, she, she moved got out to the game. She moved back to Louisiana, you know, to raise her son yeah. and everything Oh, that's what it was. Like so you, you're, was you're familiar with yes, her? Yes, okay. yes, I, I knew her very well, okay. and you know, and it's really sad, you yeah. know, situation. Yeah, she was, yeah, I mean, yeah. she opened the door for a lot of people, a lot of women, She really did. You seen him at house. She was in style, house party you know. three. Yeah, yeah. She had, she just had a she had a she had a dope style and a real in your face. Mm-hmm. I'm funny. I'm confident type of style. Um, and she was she was she was her name. She was simply marvelous. Yeah, yeah. she really was, man. Rest she, in peace, rest in peace. Yeah. So, so she was do, always real. Yeah. So we we do something like the ten count, like in boxing, we do a ten count with the. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, uh, do a ten count. So. Um, uh, for 10 seconds, uh, Simply Marvelous. We're going to give her the 10 count. Rest in peace, Simply Marvelous. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. We, uh, yeah, it was, we, we lost, um, we, um, uh, Couple months ago, who do we, uh, why is his name slipping my head? Uh, he we flipped. talking about Sadiki. F- Sadiki, we lost yeah. Sadiki oh, a couple yeah, months man. ago. Yeah. And, and Jerry yeah, Wynn, did you know Jerry Wynn? Nah, yeah, 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 I remember yeah, Jerry. Jerry. Jerry was Wynn cool too. too. So I didn't know Jerry Wynn. I didn't. Know. Yeah, the older guy used to wear like a smoking jacket. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, this so is many, yeah, ho- yeah, so many, and then it's and. Speaking of CNN history of comedy, last week's episode was about all the comedians. Yeah, we yeah, lost. week before, oh, and man. I watched that, and they had yeah. Patrice O'Neill, Bernie Mac mm-hmm. on there. Was talking about, so that was. Hey, interesting. Well, you know what? I got a funny story. Since I gotta say, wait, Joe right. Recker, do y'all know? Oh, Joe, Joe Recker, oh, yeah, rest yeah, in peace. Yeah. Y'all better yeah. mention, That's mention Joe, him. Yeah, Joe, Joe, Joe Recker. Joe that was Recker too. Uh, I, coming to the stage when he won, I I was I was at I was down there every day, so I watched him like start out, and he was just a cool dude, man. man. Very funny, man. Joe that would hit me crazy. Yeah. What? Well, we were talking about people that passed away. Uh, <clears throat> I got a quick uh, Toby's True Dope story this week of an almost murder mm. that happened. Back when I was hustling. But uh, well, let me give it the right, the right uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a Toby Hicks Dope True Story. Back when I was hustling uh, years ago in San Diego, uh, that was a time where anything you had, it was just a collection of the homies. Everybody's was everybody's everything was everything. You know, every everybody had about everybody had everybody's car keys, whatever. You just hop in the car, you roll whatever you want that day, whatever. Guns, all that type of shit. So I remember one of my homeboys came to me and I had a a nine millimeter handgun. Okay. And he had a a, a Uzi, right? 
So he wanted to have the handgun because he was going somewhere where the handgun would have been better to have. So he gave me his Uzi, and I had the hand. I mean, and I gave him my handgun, right? So, you know, I think nothing of it. Uh, a couple days passed, you know, he still ain't brought back my gun. But, you know, I got his, so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You know, whenever he come back with it, whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, some of the homies came over, and I had the Uzi on the table, so they seen the Uzi. So they knew I had it, whatever. So now about a week passes, he still didn't bring me my shit, so I still got his. So one of the homies come over, and he's like, yo, man. I just got into it with these motherfuckers, man. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, let me get that. Let me get that Uzi. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn. This shit ain't mine. This motherfucker, fuck it off. You know, then I got to tell the homie that, you know, what I said, but, you know, he got mine. So if if if, if uh, Young G mess it up, he I just let the homie keep my gun. So it's an even trade. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Take it. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't want to give it to him. So then uh, he leaves with the gun. Now, picture he goes, he goes looking for the cat who he had the problem with mm -hmm. in the daytime in the daytime. Mm -hmm. So he goes and he can't find him, whatever. I can't, you know, I don't hear nothing from him. So my homie who uh whose Uzi I had, yeah. he came back with he my showed, nine the same night. <laughs> he came back the night and he's like, yo, man, uh, I'm bringing your shit back. Where my shit at? And I said, and he, and he, and he come in, no, first, let me let me recap this. He comes in. And he's looking panicked and frazzled and sweating. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he was like, man, I had a problem with these motherfuckers tonight. You know, so I'm coming back. I'm going back to look for them. Give me my Uzi because it's a group of these motherfuckers and I'm going to kill them all and blah, blah, blah and whatever. And I'm like, damn, you know, man, I ain't got your Uzi, man. I I mean, I, I, I gave it to the homie, blah, blah, blah. Wow. So hold on. So then... He he's mad. He leave with the he he keeps the nine. He mm -hmm. just leaves. So then, mind you, thirty minutes later, the young homie come back with the Uzi, mm. and he's like, "Yo, man, I just damn near had to kill this motherfucker, man." Blah 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 blah. They was the two beefing with each other. <laughs> Hey, my homie almost got killed with his own gun. What? Oh, yes. shit. I gave a nigga a gun, and he took it and was going to kill the owner of the gun with the gun, and I had no idea. Oh, my God. These was my two homies, but oh. they weren't homies. Right. They so didn't they know didn't each know each other. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And I put it all together, and we end up, like, I end up telling oh. one or two, but it, that's what happened. I put He was going to kill him with his own gun. Wow. You got to be. That I couldn't even it. make that shit up. Uh, that you shit cannot happened. make that. That up. shit happened. So how did you 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 call both of them like, hey, y'all niggas looking at each other? I Try told one. I didn't. I told one the the calmer when I told the truth. I wasn't gonna tell the other because I mean it just been yeah. They, they still was beefing yeah. and whatever, and it was crazy. What was they beefing about? You know, or? just something stupid. It was something in the street, like you know, it was just some bullshit. Oh, it wasn't even shit. nothing real. Man. Oh they didn't even goodness. know each other. They was just out and got into it in a parking lot, going to a liquor store, and you know, and then some gang signs got thrown up and some other shit, and then that's where it es escalated. And dude almost got killed that's with his own crazy. gun. Ooh, you can't. Toby Hicks has Toby some of the most Hicks incredible time stories. Hey, Wanda, Isn't you have it? no idea. I don't know if you've listened to some of his, his stories. I need to go back and listen. Yeah, you gotta. To some of this you gotta listen to some of his stories, man. Yeah, yeah. We just let him. What we gonna See, do? I know the little nice side. I don't know about the street yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, I know the nice side too. I don't. Yeah, I, don't I don't know the street. Know about all the old, this. yeah, we don't know that too. When he was turned. That's what. Because we're gonna actually start doing some live dope dealer podcast live comedy shows. Like, and, it, and part of one of our segments, we just gonna let him go on stage and tell one of them oh, stories. Yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's gonna yeah. be live. That's good. Cool. So let's. Yeah. So I. Hey man, uh, that is incredible, man. Yeah, uh, man. It is incredible. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That's that one of the craziest yeah. shit I ever encountered. We want to. Thank you for coming through. We oh, always man. a pleasure. Yes, it yes, went by yes. So fast. I know we're that hour when you having fun and just talking. We gonna have that, like final yeah, words. Or yeah, what yeah. We gonna, we gonna have do? what we gonna oh, do? Okay. Tell them where can they find you at and what you got coming up. And I. Oh, we, okay. Do you want to do mine first? Or what no, we no. Do? You do yours. Do yours. Okay. Where, where can well, they find you at? It's Edwanda. Okay, so I have Edwanda E D W O N D A Edwanda's World for my Instagram. My Twitter is I am. Edwanda White, 
And then everything else is just at Wanda White, E-D-W-O-N-D-A. Cool. So I do want to shout out to every comedian who has ever hit the mic. If you had the heart to get up there and do it, even if you bombed, something in your spirit was saying that you had a voice. Don't let anybody stop you. Everybody has bombed or done mm-hmm. poorly. Yes, we have. Keep going forward and keep your voice out there and keep it funny. Hey, amen, amen. What you got coming up? You got you Oh, got yeah. I'm going to be at the... Um, um, the J Spot this weekend. Okay. We got a great show with uh, Brett Riley, oh, yeah, Esau funny. McGraw, Aaron Edwards Hall, and that's hosted by um, Evan Lynell. What day is that? Friday that's, or Saturday? Uh, this weekend the is Saturday the 18th. The 18th. Yeah, Saturday 8 the 18th. 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock show? I think it's 8 o'clock 8 show o'clock. So, okay. at the J Spot. And then my show that I do yes. once a month that mm-hmm. Jamal is also yes. on is called 25th. Clean Comedy Explosion. Do not let the word clean fool you because it be funny, totally yes. cracking. You guys got to come. I like to do family entertainment because I like to have families, mm-hmm. children, grandmothers, everybody to get have everybody a good time. money. Everybody, everybody money. You know so, Let the kids get their money out uh, the That piggy one is bank. on August 25th. Well, my co host is Jamal. Yes, yes, so, I will man, be there. He's been there before and yes. he rocked the house, so he's going to come and co host with me. We got Honest <laughs> John in the house, Kente yes. Scott, and my boy Boogie, Boogie B, B is going to yes. rock the house. That's he's a tore great the house show. down for me a couple of times. And my boy uh, Marion Kendrick. Yeah, that's the home. It's going to be an amazing show. That is. So that's get there early because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's going to be turned. Yeah. You already know how we do it. And that, that's at the uh, West Angeles Performing Arts Theater. That's 3020 Crenshaw Boulevard. Um, if you call the number, if you want to get a ticket, don't three, call that number. Oh, don't call call, call 310 625 okay. 0942 if you need pre-sale tickets. Give them one more time. Give it to them one more time. Eric code 310-625-0942 yes, for sure. pre-sale mm-hmm. tickets. Doors open at 645. Show starts at 730. I will be co-hosting uh, that night with Awanda White and we're going to have a great time. So please, yes. if you listen to this, uh, support that. Uh, support that. Toby, what you got? What you got going oh, on? Oh, man. Hey, first of all, I almost I forgot at the top of the oh, show. Yeah, the, I you? want to uh, thank the people uh, in Amazon Amarillo, Texas. I was there Friday night at the Globes News Center. It was awesome. Uh, it was a baby at the show that I fell in love with. Baby I Tristan. Baby. Shout out to baby Tristan was sitting in the front row. Cute. And then uh, Saturday night, uh, t- I was in McAllen at the Performing Arts Center. Uh, you know, great crowd, great service. Uh, thank- shout out to Felipe for having me on that. And uh, this Friday, I'm in Fresno at the, I can't even pronounce this, so I'm going to spell it out. This Friday, uh, August 17th at the C H U K C H A N S I the Chooch Channel Resort Casino. <laughs> I know that's close enough. Shit, y'all right. can find that shit. And Friday, that's in Fresno. Friday, eight o'clock. Uh, Saturday night, I've been to San Antonio Winery. Uh, that's in Ontario. And uh, next Wednesday, August twenty second, I'm at the Chocolate Lounge at thirty two hundred South Las Vegas Boulevard in Las Vegas. So Nevada, I'm coming next Wednesday night. Toby Hicks. I'll be there. Yes, yes, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And we want to give a shout out to the armed forces. You know we do this for you guys, man. Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, uh, uh, National Guard. You know we do this for you guys, man. Shout out to all our troops overseas listening to us, man. We love you guys. Tell man. a friend. We, and we yeah, thank yeah. you. We thank you for your service. Um, listen, um, please follow us. Uh, subscribe to us. You know we on every. If you're listening to us, so you you got to us. So, but please leave a review. That's important. If you're on iTunes, go leave a review. And if you leave a review take a picture of it go to our instagram page dope dealer podcast instagram page dope dealer podcast uh dm us the picture of it and we will send you a t-shirt we'll send you a t-shirt so all you have to do is go to itunes leave us a good review take a picture of it go to our instagram page dope dealer podcast and DM us uh, the picture of it and your address, and we will send you a T-shirt, a Dope Dealer Podcast T-shirt, man. Um, we love you guys, man. Anything else we want to? Uh, that's it, man. I've had a wonderful time. Episode 26. Yeah, as Wanda White, yeah, please, yeah, please come man, back and see us. grateful for that you came. Thank you me. Yeah. I love both of you guys, man. Mad love yes. and respect. And you guys keep doing what you're doing, man. You guys are dope uh, on the Dope Dealers Podcast. And I'm at We're Jamal Doman, J-A-M-A-L-D-O-M-A-N. 
at Toby Hicks, T O B E H I X X. Do we still have the phone number? Or? Yeah, 818 916 1818. One more time. 818 916 1818. You said that shit like I didn't pay the phone. Bill. <laughs> and then there's no one at the phone. Because I don't remember. Us. So listen, uh, we love you guys, man. We see you next week, man. Uh, God bless you. Dope Dealer Podcast. We out. Chico Benjamin. Good time.